Hey, welcome back fellow gamers. Rick here with Game Trade Media coming to you live from the showroom floor, the exhibit hall at Origins Game Fair. I've got Tiffany with Haba who's come to show us some cool stuff. But before we get into that, tell us a little bit about Haba. Well, so Haba is a, originally a German toy company and they have a U.S. branch and they produce fine, high quality uh, games and wooden toys as well. But okay. Most people at this show would care about the game part of that. Okay. So, yeah, traditionally, um, they're best known for their yellow box games and have a range all the way from toddler games up to 99. So games yeah. for the whole family nice. entirely. Yeah. So um, you guys, I don't know if, if, if you are familiar with it yet. I'm sure you are. Every year, it seems they do this little contest where you can enter in it and they'll send you like a bag of bits. Yeah. And then you have to come up with a game based on that bag of bits you receive. Yeah. And so then submit it. Yeah, we do a game design contest. Uh, started a few years ago. And it started because the German head office was like, hey, we have a bunch of like random extra bits. What do we do with these? And our game specialist, Bobby West, was like, I have an idea. <laughs> Uh, so you sign up and it's free for the kit. Um, you just have to pay for shipping. And we just we take a sand shovel <laughs> and we nice. scoop out a bunch of bits from this big bin that we have in our warehouse and we put it in a box and we ship it to you. And uh, we do a game design contest using those bits. And it's mm. you can design whatever you would like. There's some simple requirements on like player counts and time right. and that kind of stuff. And then you submit the rules back and the top winners get submitted to Germany to potentially become a Hava game. Yeah. Oh, and you get a gift card for Hava if you win as well. <laughs> nice. Very cool. So, um, yeah. I actually participated in it last year. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It was uh, fun. Yeah. I, I didn't get very far, obviously. How many pieces? But did you get any I, cool pieces that you liked or...? I got a lot of animal pieces, like a giraffe and uh, oh. like a penguin and stuff like that. So I was like really thinking like a zoo thematic. Uh, but it, and it was fun to submit that and just to be like, oh, this is just a really neat thing to be a part of. Yeah. Uh, and, it, and it actually got me a little bit more familiar with what you all do. Because uh, this is the first time Haba's ever been at my table. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, there we go. Yeah. Well, thank That's you. That's why I wanted to know a lot, you know, a little bit more. Let everybody out there watch and a, a little bit more. Cool. So let's talk about, though, what you brought. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm, I like unicorns, and I see unicorns. <laughs> so this is Unicorn Glitterlack Cloud Stocking. So we actually, there's a line in Germany called uh, Einhorn Glucker Gluck. <laughs> I said that probably really wrong. But it's like My Little Pony, basically, of oh, Germany. Sure. Um, and they have a brand of li uh, line of games in that. And we brought over a couple of them here, and they've just done amazing. Nice. Uh, so this is the newest one it actually released at this show, and reception has been fantastic. So in this game, do you just want to pull it out? Yeah, let's just let's do just it. Let's just do it. Um, so in this game, we're working together, and we want to get all of the unicorns. Oops, my business cards are in there. Perfect. We want to get all of the unicorns and cloud crystals into the cloud kingdom before the rain comes. And so it's a dexterity game, but we're working together. It's not competitive, uh, and it's not timed. Uh, but we don't. So what's going to happen? There'll be, there'll be lots of them here. Yeah, this is my sample copy <laughs> that I take to shows and whatnot. Okay, so there's lots, lots of bits and pieces. Yeah, so we're going to put these little cloud tiles around. Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Try and randomize it as much as we can. Okay. Cool. Okay, and then we have a tiny, cute little baby unicorn. There she is. This is Princess Rosalie, um, and she's throwing a party. All and right. uh, to have the party, we have to get all the unicorns and all the crystals in, and we hope the rain doesn't stop the party. So, all right. On your turn, roll dice. Oh, well, that's easy. So it's a star. So that means I get to pick what I want to put on. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and do a crystal, and I put the crystal in the cloud. So then you okay. would go. All right. So you're going to go three with Princess Rosalie. One, two, three. And you're going to put a cloud on the castle. So you can put them in these slots or you can put it on the actual castle. Okay, there we go. There you go. So the clouds, we actually don't have to get the clouds on to win the game. Uh-oh. But we'll find that the clouds, because they're rounded, they kind of just gunk up the works and the stability of the thing. Um, so we really, we're coming around to Unicorn Alley. We need to get these unicorns on. Yeah. The tricky thing is, is as you play, you can kind of see it's about to happen where this if we gapping. get more weight on, it'll shift in this rail, uh -oh. right? And clouds can potentially slide out. Uh oh. Um, but that's, I mean, we're 
this is the game. I played this with a four-year-old yesterday, and, and I simplified a little bit okay. of the in-game rolling. But let's say one, two, three. All right, let's say that I do this. Oh, no, it fell. Um, I will pick one of the clouds, and I flip it over. Oh, no. And because I revealed a rain cloud, we're one step closer to the rain coming. Uh -oh. And so if we reveal three of these, we'll lose as a, as a team. Okay. But some of them, there's some sunshine hidden. Okay. But now this tile is out. And so we have to, because this tile has come out, this means a cloud has come out. Um, so it's going to be easier for us to get the unicorns and the crystals because we have one less cloud okay. gunking up the works, if that makes sense. Okay. So. Uh, and what's the wind condition? We got to get all the unicorns and all the crystals onto the cloud kingdom. Wind. So it would continue to. Yeah. Well, stack. so we normally have to roll to see if you can put the unicorn right. on, right? Yeah. But. Ooh. All right. So. One, yeah. Well, yeah. There, yeah. There yeah you go. I'm, I'm putting that unicorn right back where I was. This one's a, a show off. Apparently, yeah. Yep. Doing horn stands. Dang, those crystals are popping now. They are, but there's 10 of them, so it's good. All right, two. Oh, so no. So one, two. So we skipped this one, actually. Okay, great. Yeah, so another so you just do a cloud. Another one of these. Yeah, so I was um, I was at a game night here mm -hmm. at Origins, and I brought this. And I had a couple gentlemen who were like, oh, let's play a quick game. Ha, ha, ha. Let's play the unicorn one. And they started playing it, and they got about halfway through. And then they started losing. And they got, like, oh. really concerned. <laughs> very upset. And then they did lose, and so they were like, it's this table, it's this table, this table is not stable enough, so they went and found another table, and then they like sat and strategized on how they were going to get, and I got a unicorn up there, how they were going to get and stack uh, to get everything on. So. so they went from being like, <laughs> to oh, oh my, yes, oh my god. <laughs> exactly. They were super <laughs> in it, and they cheered when they got it. It was a whole thing. Um, but yeah, so MSRP is... Twenty-one ninety-nine. That's not bad. No, it's not, and it's one to four players. You can play with a little mm. more, but with us in our games, because our target audience, this is Gee, that's this is scary. ages. I know, right? This is ages four and up, and four-year-olds have a lot of you know not as much patience right. for downtime. So we like to keep our player count lower on the box, just so with the younger kids, there's less downtime. Okay. Um, but you could totally play this with five or six if you're a family of five, you know. So, oh, jeez. <laughs> I think we got it. I think it. this is my only option. I think we got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Oh, yes. That's going to be tight. We got to get these crystals on. All right. One. So there's no unicorn. So uh, I house rule that you get to put a crystal on. All right. I like the house rule. Oh, no. Whoop. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't get to do that. I have to do this. Oh, jeez. Yep. Can I slip it into here? I don't, uh, I don't mm. think so. This is a sensitive area. That's a precarious perch. Okay, I think we got it. Ooh, all right. <clears throat> oh, no. Last cloud. So. Okay. okay. Wow. Have you stacked before? Uh, I have not. <laughs> nope. So in this case, we're out of stuff to stack, and so it's more just... Uh, we're just getting the crystals on at this point, and, and then we would yeah. win. And once we have all the crystals on, we have to put Princess Rosalie on. So we'll just we'll fast forward through video magic. Wow, we did it. And then um, if you would like the honors of putting Princess Rosalie onto the tower. Because she's there, she's there to party. Yeah. And it's her party, right? It's her party. Oh. And she can stack if she wants to. Oh, oh, nice. Ta-da. That is impressive. <laughs> that is the most impressive one I've seen today. Well, in this show. Yeah, I was going to say, it's only, it's only 10.30 or 10, 11 o'clock. Well, this show, yeah. <laughs> this is a pretty good one. So, yeah, it's really quick. With the younger kids, you're working on uh, yeah. counting. You're working on, you can work on colors. You can work on shapes. You can work on taking turns. Uh, and because it's cooperative, not competitive, right. uh, it works with younger kids that might have struggles with, like, sure. losing versus winning um, okay. by themselves. Right. And that's one of the things a lot of our younger audience games, we, we tend to do more cooperative games so that they learn that it's okay to lose. Right. Like, we all lost, and we're fine. Right. You know what I mean? Or Absolutely. we all win, and we can celebrate. And so when you move on mm. to competitive games, if they lose, they've already experienced losing Right. You know, with with everyone, and yeah. so they feel like it's okay, and it's oh. not as big of a deal as if you know they were by themselves and they lost, and that's all they right. knew. Right. So that makes sense. Yeah, and I like that.
<laughs> so this is available now? It is. It, the, we released it at this show. So we were actually shipping to um, y'all and <laughs> stores um, last week okay. uh, or the week before. So okay. this is available in your friendly local game store. It's available um, at distribution if you're a retailer and nice. it's available online, et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's, it's available it's here. It's out there. It's out it's there and here. ready to be put on someone's yeah. shelf and then on their table. Yes. Because one of the things I'm really a big fan of is, is table presence in a game, especially for kids. And this has that, yeah, it does. which is perfect. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Well, let's knock it down. That's, uh, yeah. That's the best part. Yeah. <laughs> Some people use the die as a meteor. It's all good. Because I see you brought some other cool stuff.